Hi everybody, Ryan Horn from ryanstechtips.com. So in our last video, we took a look at the Explore tool in Google Docs and Slides, and we talked about how you can ex use Explore tool to add websites, research, or even images to your document. Well, today we're gonna follow up and talk about how you can add attributes or uh, attributions to any images that you add to your documents. So let's take a look at what we should be including when we cite our images. And I'm gonna add a link to this page that you're looking at right now down below in the description of this YouTube video that will get you to this page that I find really handy. It talks about the Creative Commons images and how you can cite them. We're gonna to wanna to include it as much as we can, as often as we can, title of the image, the creator name, source of the image, and any copyright information that we can find. So let's take a look at our Google Doc and how I'm gonna track that down just a reminder, I used the Explore tool, and because this page had the word copyright on it, it brought up some in images related to copyright, and when I inserted those images, it popped up on my doc. So here's how to get some information about those images. Step one, you wanna click on the image once, single click, and then you'll get this link that pops up below, and that link will take you to that image's source. So here's the source page of this image. Now I'm gonna scroll down because under this image, I found all of the information I need. Here's the title and the license and the author. So I'm gonna highlight the text I want. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna add that to my screen. That text is too big, so I'm gonna resize it down. There we go, that looks great. So let's take a look at what it looks like with another image, with a different kind of source. Let's single click on this image. And by the way, the link will come up to the image source as long as you don't do wrap text or break text. If you wrap text or break text, you'll notice the link is gone. So now I need to use the undo arrow to bring it back. You can resize the image as much as you want. The link will still stay there, but it needs to be in line and you need to grab this before you wrap text or break text. So the source for this image, the information I need is down at the bottom. So I can grab this information copy and paste it into my document. Next, I wanna take a look at how to find some um, attributes that might be not so easily found in the source page. Let's take a look at this image. I'm gonna open up this website and you'll notice I do not see the title. I don't see the Creative Commons license, but I notice at the top of the screen, I have these links and I wanna use this file you might notice those links somewhere on the right or they might be on the left depending on the web page but here on wikimedia it's up at the top so i'm going to click use this file and this is what i need everything here attribution i'm going to grab this i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste this down here and if i needed to get more information i could also get the url to this document as well okay Last one, let's take a look at this image. This one's gonna be interesting. I click on it once and I open up this website. So on this image, I don't have any information. There's no title, there's no source. This is a CCO, Creative Commons license. And what that means is that using this image, they are not requiring you to give any attributes or you don't need to offer um, any specifics to this image. But what I like to do, and if it comes to a case like this, is we'll pull up that image source again. I'm going to get a couple things. I'm going to copy the, excuse me, I'm gonna copy the Creative Commons license. And I'm also going to copy the image web or the source of the image as well. So I'm gonna grab the web address of that image. And I'm gonna paste that as well. So now I can at least have this information for this image. Okay, that's a little bit about giving attributions to images from using the Explore tool in Google Docs or Google Slides. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on my site, ryanstechtips.com. See you later.